just like uh, 30 years ago, having computers in the home was science fiction. Well, that came to be, and we'll see robots in the home in a similar way. In fact, robots will be so commonplace that they'll be part of everyday living, and eventually, you'll wonder how we ever got by without them. What could you like to be today? Today, we're seeing robots making the transition from the lab to the living room. To do that, they have to be easy to use, communicate with us, understand us, and understand each other. If you really want a robot in your home that can do multiple things that's general purpose, like an assistant, then you need the robot to be much more intelligent. And that's really what we're pushing on here in this lab, to try to make robots have the intelligence and capabilities necessary to be useful in the home. Robots aren't ready for prime time just yet, but the research that we're doing here at WPI in technologies such as human-robot interaction, robot learning, manipulation, soft robotics, that is in the pipeline and will be ready for products very soon. We're very much at a tipping point in the robotics revolution right now, and soon we're going to be seeing more personal robots entering human environments, particularly in medical applications, assistive robotics first, but eventually making a, you know impact on everybody's lives. WPI has many projects involved in making life better through robotics, whether it's uh, human-robot interaction and collaboration, advanced manufacturing, security and defense, soft and compliant robots. These are all technologies that will have large markets and will help to create jobs and hopefully make the world a better place to live in. One of the key capabilities we're developing here is uh, motion planning for the robot. So unlike a human, a robot can't just look at the world and instantly know what's the right thing to do, how do you move this object around, how do you accomplish this task. It, it has to gather sensor information and construct a plan to understand how to be able to accomplish the task. It's impossible to pre-program a robot with everything it needs for everyday life. And that's what our research is about, is really personalizing a robot, enabling someone to really teach it, to, to shape the behavior of that robot. Uh, in some of the ways maybe that people do with pets. So when you train a dog at home you know, to, to follow the rules of your house, we want to do something similar with robots. We don't necessarily want robots that are going to be our equals in every possible way. But we do want robots to do some things for us. And I think that that approach of having capable robots that can interact but are not themselves very reminiscent of a human is probably the best way to make them socially acceptable. This is a great time to be involved in robotics research. So I see a huge need for people who are trained and educated in robotics. Very bright future for robotics uh, industry. <laughs>